Hi everybody, Rain Brown here. <clears throat> I just wanna give a quick uh, little recap to the last video I made. Um, there's been an uproar of comments about it, um, both good and bad. Um, I always like to acknowledge the good things first, so thank you guys for your continuing support and thank you for the people that reached out and let me know that I'm not alone in going through something like that. That really meant a lot to me and, and as much as I wanted that video to help other people, I think it helped me just as much. Um, but then there's, there's a few uh, miseducated comments um, that I thought I would address because, you know, I, to me, and, and here's the thing, because I get a lot of people that see it as just me addressing hate. And here's the thing, I don't address needless hate. What I address are things that my other viewers are going to see and take at face value. So that's what I address. I address the things that I believe my voice matters about. And so... There were quite a few um, miseducated people, and I won't say uneducated because they are educated, some of them were even RNs, but they might have just been miseducated um, to not know that bipolar disorder, as well as all mental health disorders, um, can actually in fact go into remission. So let's get into it. All right, so first things first, what is remission? Remission is when something is not fully cured, but it is not in the state that it's going to cause harm. So what that means is that, for instance, let's use cancer, because that's what a lot of people were using as a way to debuckle what I had said. Um, when cancer goes into remission, it means that the cancer is not fully gone. It means that you still do have cancer. It's just not to the point that it could hurt you anymore. That's an easy way to put it. Um, and then the second thing I would like to talk about is bipolar remission. What does that mean? Can bipolar even go into remission? And a couple things about that is I myself didn't even know that bipolar could go into remission, actually. Um, I thought what a lot of you guys thought is that it was a lifelong disease, that you always had to deal with the ups and downs, and there was no possible way to get to a point where you're steady. Um, luckily, you guys, fantastic news. It's a thing, and it's obtainable, trust me. So how did I get into remission? I went to my counseling, I went to my therapy, I went to my psychiatrist appointments, I stayed on my medication, I journaled, I exercised, I dieted, I slept, I took medication for sleeping, I tried the whole nine yards, you guys, and what finally helped? I'll tell you. What finally helped was breaking the thought that I had to do all of these extra steps in order to stay better. You know, because to me, journaling was really stressful. Like, I don't know why, it just really stresses me out. And so I didn't want to journal and I talked to my therapist about it. And she had said, you know, if you're doing something to help your mental health and it's not helping your mental health, then it's not helping your mental health. And that kind of like clicked it into my brain that like, oh, like if you're doing things to make you feel better, they should make you feel better. And so I talked to my psychiatrist about lowering some of my medications and putting me on different medications even. And we came up with a plan that worked for both of us that she would um, lower the medication that she didn't feel I needed anymore, which was my anxiety and my depression medication. And she would keep the medications that we both felt I needed. And that was my antipsychotic, AKA my mood stabilizer. And that was my nightmare medication to stop me from having nightmares about my dad's passing and my panic attack medication because I also have panic disorder. So there's a couple of the things. Um, so what does all that mean? I just threw a ton of information at you. Um, so what that means is that I had, basically I was doing way too much to try and get better. And sometimes as my daddy would say, and as my mama likes to say, less is more. And that's very true. And it wasn't my case. And everyone is different. Everybody's journey with bipolar or with any mental illness is going to be different. And that's another thing I had to learn is that your cure um, is not coming from somebody else. And that's one thing that I'll tell you too, is I don't have all the secrets. I don't have that magical little key that unlocks the door and says, yay, I'm not bipolar anymore. By no means is that what I'm saying. I am still bipolar. I still have bipolar disorder, but it does not run my life. And in order, so getting back on track, what is remission from bipolar? Remission from bipolar is when you have not gone into either a manic, hypomanic, depressive, or a mixed episode in the span of six or more months. Partial remission is when you have not had one of those episodes in three months. I have not had a depressive, manic, hypomanic, or mixed episode in over eight months, meaning that I am in full remission. So anyways, you guys, I just wanted to explain that a little bit, um, give my two cents, 
and you know educate the people that might not know um because i didn't know and you know if i could tell you guys anything if if the haters would listen to anything i have to say you know um be more patient with people you know like be a little bit more compassionate be a little bit kinder i'm not saying you have to kiss everybody's feet but just when you're talking, remember your tone and, and remember the look in your eye because some people are sensitive in the world and you never know if who you're talking to might be on the on their last step. Um, so just be careful with what you say to people because I know the reason I took a break from social media for so long is because it was bad for my mental health. And thank the Lord above that I am now in a position where those things don't bother me anymore. Um, I genuinely, I don't have a care what people have to say about me. Um, I think I'm the sauce, you know, I, I think I'm great. <laughs> um, but I, I think that's how everybody should think. But um, anyways, you guys, this video was kind of random, but I just wanted to come on here and uh, like I said, give my two cents and, you know, try and spread the word a little bit. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you learned something new. Um, and yeah, I'm just, you know, from one bipolar babe to the next, we're on the same path. We're all trying to figure it out. Um, just be kind to each other. As always, peace, love, happiness, and all good things. Bye! Rain Brown's Struggle with Anxiety Disorder A Journey Through Alaskan Bush People Star's Mental Health Rain Brown, the youngest daughter of the Brown family featured in the reality TV series Alaskan Bush People, has captivated audiences with her resilience, adventurous spirit, and genuine warmth. However, behind the camera lens lies a personal battle that Rain has bravely shared with the world, her ongoing struggle with anxiety disorder. In a society where mental health awareness is gaining momentum, Rain's openness about her mental health journey serves as a beacon of hope for many facing similar challenges. Born into a family that thrives on living off the grid, Rain's childhood was unconventional, to say the least. Growing up in the wilderness of Alaska, she experienced a lifestyle vastly different from that of her peers. While her upbringing instilled in her a deep connection to nature and a strong sense of independence, it also presented unique challenges, including limited access to traditional mental health resources. Throughout the years, fans of Alaskan bush people have witnessed Rain's evolution from a young girl navigating the wilderness to a courageous woman confronting her inner demons. In candid interviews and social media posts, she has spoken openly about her struggles with anxiety, providing insights into the daily battles she faces. Despite the picturesque backdrop of the Alaskan wilderness, Rain's journey reminds us that mental health knows no boundaries and can affect anyone, regardless of their surroundings. Anxiety disorders are among the most common mental health conditions globally, affecting millions of individuals of all ages and backgrounds. For Rain, the pressures of fame, coupled with the challenges of adapting to life outside the wilderness, have exacerbated her anxiety symptoms. From panic attacks to overwhelming feelings of fear and uncertainty, she has bravely navigated the highs and lows of her mental health journey, inspiring others to seek help and prioritize self-care. One of the most significant barriers to addressing mental health issues, particularly in remote areas like the Alaskan wilderness, is the stigma surrounding mental illness. Rain's decision to speak openly about her experiences has helped break down these barriers, encouraging others to seek support without fear of judgment. By sharing her story, she has sparked important conversations about mental health within her community and beyond, fostering a greater sense of understanding and empathy. Despite the challenges she faces, Rain remains resilient, channeling her struggles into a source of strength and advocacy. Through her social media platforms, she has become a voice for mental health awareness, using her platform to promote self-love, mindfulness, and acceptance. Whether she's sharing empowering messages or offering words of encouragement to her followers, Rain's authenticity shines through, reminding us that vulnerability is not a weakness but a testament to our humanity. As Rain continues to navigate life's ups and downs, 
She serves as a reminder that healing is not a linear journey. Some days may be harder than others, but with perseverance and support, it is possible to find peace amidst the chaos. Her story is a testament to the power of resilience, courage, and the unwavering strength of the human spirit. In a world where the spotlight often shines on perfection, Rain Brown reminds us that it's okay to be imperfect, to embrace our flaws, and to seek help when we need it most. Her journey serves as a beacon of hope for anyone struggling with their mental health, proving that even in the darkest of times there is light. As she continues to inspire others with her bravery and authenticity, Rain Brown is not just a reality TV star. She is a mental health advocate, a beacon of hope, and a true force to be reckoned with.